Hey there folks, Jiminy Critic here today and I want you to take a second before we start our re movie review today to think back, I want you to think way back. For me, I'm thinking back about 38 years, for you it could be whatever it is, so think back on the time when you were a nine year old kid. Now if you're a nine year old kid right now watching this review, you don't have to do any thinking, you're already right there. But the rest of us that are older, think back to when you were nine and think of the adventures you like to think about, the fun you had, the playing you did where you fit in in the family at home, you build the forts with the couch and the blankets, you go to your room and think up fantasies and dreams and read books and pretend that you're in the books and all. Well, the reason I'm having you think back to your nine-year-old status in life is we're talking about the movie today called Where the Wild Things Are. This movie is based on the award-winning, long-lasting book called Where the Wild Things Are from Maurice Sendak. And it's funny, uh, this back book brings back a lot of memories for me. I know that I've read it when I was younger. I've seen the book many times since. The book itself, it's kind of funny, only has 10 sentences in the whole entire book. You can read through the book and look at the pictures in about you know two minutes or whatever. Short time. I think they picked the perfect person, the kid that they chose for this nine-year-old boy in the role named Max. And his real name is Max anyway, but in the movie, his name is Max. And of course... Um, this movie, Where the Wild Things Are, is a drama fantasy movie from Warner Brothers. Spike Jones directs this movie. It's rated PG. It's good for the whole family, and I'll explain about that in just a minute. It's about 95 minutes long, and obviously the setup is there's this nine-year-old kid, Max, and you'll see in the beginning of the movie that he's having a little bit of trouble at home, kind of where does he fit in. It seems at times like his mom doesn't want him, his sister doesn't want him in the way, so he retreats to his room or other places and just starts thinking of fantasies in his mind where he can be in charge. Well, of course, he thinks of this magical place where there's these creatures running around, very fantastical looking things in a fantastical land, and they make him their king. Of course, he makes himself the king in the story. And all the different things that ensue in his imagination, I've got to say, they have taken the premise of this book and done a great job with the visuals. I really want to comment on how well the visuals in this movie, the creatures and the land and the different things they get into, this boy Max gets into, are done really, really well. Now, here's the caveat. I think younger kids, you know, under the age of five or six, might be frightened by these creatures from the book. They're so well done, they look so realistic. They're kind of scary looking anyway, and I think young kids might be put off. Older teens, 13, 14, 15 and older, probably will pretend not to have an interest in this movie. I think the target zone is probably six to 11 years old to see this movie. I want to recommend this to you for a family movie. I like to do that when I can. There's so few of them that the whole family can go to see. Uh, but the imaginative creativity in Where the Wild Things Are. Not a perfect story, might have been better if it was just a tad shorter or maybe even done as a short feature 30-40 minutes long. But this is a full length, hour and a half movie. I think you'll be stunned by some of the things you see and I think we found a brand new star in Max Records, the nine-year-old kid who plays Max in the movie. I think we'll be seeing a lot of him. So this is Jiminy Critic saying check out Where the Wild Things Are and have a good time. that door. I'm so <laughs> This hasn't been on the whole time, has it?